I've got two super quick demonstrations for you from the Doncaster exclusive. So first of all, a really quick one. All of those fabulous tags make great little pockets. Pockets for you to then tuck behind your flowers so that you've got dimension to it like that. Or how about if you fold it up and you make yourself little wallets. So I'm just gonna fold that one down so it's the right size like that, we open it up and could tuck in those flowers. So whichever way you choose to use these little tags, don't forget to give this technique a try because that one is really easy to do. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this tag and I'm going to use it to build my bouquet on. So first of all, I actually also have a watering can to go with this. So I'm going to use my watering can as the main part of the design, but the tag is going to sit behind it just to add the actual, um, the stability to the card itself. And what I'm going to do there is score across the back of it, just like that. I'm going to take my scissors and cut into my watering can like this just into that opening and this is going to be how we're going to build the design. So I'm going to use this front of the tag to put all of my flowers into and to actually hold all of this together. So the bottom of the watering can and the bottom of the tag need to be level with each other, which they are. And then this is going to get attached to that black to the back of that tab so that it stands like that. But the reason that I need these white pieces either side is because the way we're going to build up the other elements of the design. So I'm going to start off by putting these in here. And to do that, I'm going to turn over my watering can. I'm going to take some of my foam on a roll and I'm just going to position it over here. And then we're just going to take another small piece of that foam and that is going to go just there. So I've got two places that I can be sticking the stems of my flowers. So there's the first one that I've got. Here is the second. So I'm going to tuck that behind, making sure that it's sticking on the back of the stem there. This flower head needs to be snipped. So I'm just going to snip round where the little petals are because I'm going to change the angle of the flower and I'm going to pop it right there. So you can see that it immediately looks different. So this one gets a little bit of our book binding glue just in here, which just this bottle's just starting to run out, but there's still plenty in there if you get the get it stuck down. Look at the difference that that makes instead of having both the flowers going in the same direction. Then I'm going to put some a few smaller ones in because we need those in there as well. So again, this one goes in behind to the back and sticks to that bit of foam that we've got. So I'm just going to get that in there. Get that caught, that's one. I'm going to take this little pink one and pop that one in there. Get some of those leaves to the front and some of them to the back. And let's put you there. But again, I need to snip into this one, so let's do that. And we're going to make that flower go there. So change the angle of it. Put some glue on the bottom to make sure it stays in where I need it to. Oops, there we go. And you're going to go just there, a little bit of glue. So just there. So one of the things about demoing is, do you want to try and be quick? Because we want to get as much in the time as we possibly can. I'm just going to pop that one into there. And I'll put a little bit of glue on it and hold that up so that that's going in a different direction. And one more of those little flowers tucked right in. And if I just take off that flower head, 
so I can get that nice and low. It will go in just there. Finally, one last one, come up to the top or even out to the side. You decide where you want it. I think it looks particularly nice just there. And that, again, is catching on to that foam that we've got. Right, so we've got all of those pieces in place. I'm now going to put a little bit of glue across the back because remember this now needs to be our stand. So we've got that piece in position. So just like that. Not worrying that you can see this element because I'm going to take my little blue birds and my little blue birds are going to go across here. So one of them is going to cover that side like that. And this one is going to cover that side by me pushing up the ribbon. So you can see how clever that's going to be. So a little bit of foam on a roll. Let's use that because it will be the quickest thing and the most effective. And we're going to place that just there for each of those designs. I need to take one of my tiny little tags because this is going to have a message on it. And that message is going to be across that ribbon. So we're going to place this piece across here. So that's going to get glued. And you can stamp or print this. You could use Minecraft Studio, would be perfect example of how to put your message on. So print the message onto a piece of cardstock, first of all. Then take your die, place your die over the top so that you've got Minecraft Studio actually um, showing the sentiment through the die or underneath the die. And that way, you will get the perfect result. Just going to put that little bluebird there, this little bluebird just here, and my little sentiment is going to come across the front. And there you have it. Quick and easy card making, beautiful designs, and so simple, but bringing all of those elements together. Isn't that just the perfect card to be sending for a birthday? If you want to see more from Highlight Crafts, make sure you click the like button. Subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and click the bell icon to receive notifications of all of our future content. You can also click here to see our latest video or click here to see more videos like this one.